Jason Munson here with PelletStovePro.com and PelletStovePro.net, your source for pellet stove parts and for pellet stove help. If you have an igniter that is not working, uh, maybe it's even a brand new igniter and the pellets aren't lighting, uh, there's a few things that you can check out. Um, the number one thing is you want to make sure that the igniter is actually getting power to it. And the best way to do that is with a voltmeter or a multi multimeter. You should be getting close to uh, or between 110 to 120 volts. Uh, anywhere close to that voltage is, is adequate. Um, if you're getting that voltage there, then the igniter should actually glow red hot. If you have voltage and the igniter is not glowing red hot, then you have a bad igniter. Uh, if you have the voltage there and the igniter is glowing red hot and it's still not lighting the pellets, um, then you may have a problem with where the igniter is positioned in uh, relationship to the burn pot and to the pellets. Um, or you, your stove may be too clogged up with ash for it to get the proper airflow. If the, uh, if the stove gets, uh, the chimney or the stove gets clogged up with ash and it restricts the airflow, then it can't draw enough of the hot air from the igniter uh, across the pellets to light the flame. So those are some, some of the main things that uh, you can look for. Uh, the easy way to test an igniter to see if it's working is to plug it in directly to uh, power coming out of a wall socket. It should, uh, it should glow uniformly red, um, except at the very, very tip it might be uh, uh, not quite as red, but the majority of the igniter should glow red. If only half of it glows red, then that means that a part of the coil is broken inside the igniter and it needs to be replaced. Hope that helps.